Now all new at nine and today marks one week since Georgia's newest senator Kelly Leffler was sworn into the US Senate. Yeah, and she sat down exclusively with our Carolyn Ryan to talk about her first week on the job, the criticism that she's getting from both sides of the aisle and everything in between. Just one week into her new job, Senator Kelly Leffler has already signed six GOP bills, including three on abortion. So I was really proud to support three pro-life pieces of legislation in terms of becoming a co-sponsor on those. And so really what I'm doing is making sure that I am up there every day fighting for innocent life. She's also going to fight for President Trump in the Senate's impeachment trial. She says she has the president's back, but does he have hers? He adamantly supported Representative Doug Collins for your position that you now have. Does that concern you or worry you at all? Look, I'm very uh, focused on working with the White House. I had a meeting there this week to work on what are the legislative priorities and am very aligned with the White House. I know I'm going to continue to earn his trust and confidence. In the meantime, I'm just going about getting my work done for Georgia in the way that I've committed to getting it done. At that meeting at the White House, did you have the opportunity to meet the president? Uh, not this week. Okay. Has he reached out to you to congratulate you? Uh, I, we haven't had the opportunity to speak. Um, Vice President Pence swore me in. I passed my regards on to the president, and, and the vice president indicated the president had sent his uh, support, and I greatly appreciate that. Leffler says she's prepared to prove herself to President Trump and all the other naysayers, from a controversial photo with Democrat Stacey Abrams to past political donations, many, even in her own party, have questioned her conservative principles. There, much has been said, much of it not true. I know what I am and I know what I'm focused on and I'm gonna demonstrate that through my actions and I'm not gonna be focused on anything but what is good for Georgia. The senator says the man who held her seat before her, Senator Johnny Isaacson, gave her some advice right before she was sworn in to just be herself. She says that served him well and she hopes it will do the same for her as she tries to ignore the distractions and get to work, starting with the committees she's been assigned to, including the Veterans Affairs Committee and the Agriculture Committee. Carolyn Ryan, CBS 46 News.